Well, hello there, friends. It is Thursday, September 9th, 2021, at some point in the day. Um, things are going pretty good. Um, let's see. Got a contractor or something at the house right now um, with my dad going over stuff of repairs and stuff that need to be ha uh, made. We had a burst pipe um, in my dad's uh, bathroom in the shower. Um, we had issues with it a year or two ago. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was one of those where I kind of saw leaking out of the out of like the shower handle thing. It's like, oh, maybe like the filter inside. But yeah, I know it turned out, oh, this, this whole thing inside was coming down into the wall all that stuff but i mean it's um I'll, I'll let you take a look at you know they they went and they removed a bunch of stuff and removed asbestos and all that stuff so you can take a look at that right now look at that poor house the, these bare walls and oh look at all this stuff <laughs> yeah and what else is there to take a look at other than this right there yeah maybe all right <laughs> so yeah um it's just this kind of been a lot of working with insurance and all that and getting a lot of stuff to figure out it's been a big old long process itself just fixing the bathroom and all that and then with flooring and all that um and then how much are they going to do? What's going to be covered? Is you know to get it to match? They'll replace this whole thing, all that stuff. You know, it's a just the whole. The at some point we're going to have to go stay at a hotel for a bit, however long that turns out, so they could take all the stuff out of the house out, put the stuff in, all all that stuff. So we shall see. Um, and uh, so there's that. There is also, hey, I got a new computer chair. Um, now that I've kind of been, all right, I'll show you the chair first. All right, so it's a nice chair. Got it completely for free, hey. You know, it's kind of a, we'll just kind of think of it as you know, the stuff that I had before that I donated or, or gave to a friend or whatever, hey, it's come back to me, if you will. I have a co-worker who, the, their son, I think, works at a law office and something is closing. And so that all this, obviously very nice. Um, I don't even want to know how much a chair like that costs uh, that they were just gonna throw away so they're like oh hey how about i just take this and see if i can give out to people so hey worked out right nice chair all sorts of things bending every which way and adjustable um a little bit you know just a little bit maybe more firm than i generally try to uh enjoy um but uh hey i'm not gonna complain um, I, I tend to kind of prefer, I think, maybe chairs that don't have such a high back, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's good. I'm not going to complain. going to just use it, and uh, if it kind of turns out, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. I'll just go donate it to, to somebody else. We'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, you know, the whole back stuff, I mean, it's it's ongoing, right? It's It's, it's not some sort of... Oh, you just wake up one day and you're miraculously healed and without pain. It's just slow, long, ongoing process where you have you have more better days, right? And it's kind of taking up less of the space in here and bothering you less so that you can go and get get up get get busy with your business, if you will, not just like, oh, oh damn, this is bad. Um But uh, you know better days and not so great days for sure just just that are good reminders of 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 just like yeah i know i'm very very grateful and appreciative of things getting better and just being able to get back to doing things 
and not have it take up that mental ram but still 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 some moments and days here and there where you're like oh damn that's bugging me pretty good there's like a reminder of yeah it is still not over still gotta gotta keep up keeping up the walks the the exercising all that stuff but um yeah it's uh i mean i know the it's been pretty cool um at work hold on i'll let this truck pass by it's kind of been pretty cool at work i think that was a speed bump it's pretty cool at work um they were getting closer to solving that one issue where this person isn't able to access this small business administration stuff it found out that they like uh, help people in the community with stuff. Um, it was like, well, that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's like, yeah, it would be kind of a big deal to not have this thing just seemingly no work for no reason because something's up with our network. So it's been really cool to... It's at that point where it's not quite working, but getting further in the process before giving some error and uh, sometimes even going through just fine. Um, but it's been really cool to like work somebody with the IT department and another person and just keep people updated and see like where it's at. Let's try this other thing, you know, like, hey, is somebody from the IT department fixing, like switching something up on the network, trying that. So it's been very, I don't know, very nice of like, hey, it's kind of a big thing. Yeah. And, and it's clearly very used by this person, like really listening to somebody and being like yeah let's try to solve this somehow just working with different people in different departments all that is very very nice um but you know i'm just sometimes think back of it it's hard to believe like whoa um being in your late 20s having really bad social anxiety ha having people think that you were like almost you know the r word so just like how like weird and whatever you used to be and unable to you know talk to people um and now you're like whoa not even a thing now and i don't know it's just a little thing that pops up sometimes in my head of like well i'm i help somebody and all that and you're talking to all these people and, and you have these figments of like whoa and i used to be like terrified <laughs> of talking to anyone just like how Oh, anyway, we don't need to dwell on negativity and all that. So, um, yeah, no, things are things are going good. Um, but um, one, as I said in the stream, though, man, very much have come to um, maybe you know like a further fleshed out idea will be for another future video at some time. But just very much have this feeling where. And it's something that I started having earlier this year. Um, just kind of this feeling I started to have. Oh, there go, there you are with your feelings. But, but just this thought I started to have of like, yeah, I think. And it's more concrete now, and just something I've really been push, having to push myself to do more and more is just. Be, you know, just in this situation where it feels like you have no option now, but to, I mean, the only thing left is to now have to kind of do it all. That is now the position that you're in. You kind of have to fire all cylinders and work on everything. You can't ignore anything anymore. And just, you know, you, you can't let anything, you know, like having to ma like work on all the stats and all the skills because that's that's now the position you're in where everything has to now be worked at and you can't let anything fall by the wayside and really i mean maybe it really is just i mean it probably can be simplified as just getting now better at time management which i have never 
Well, first off, I mean, I was very poor at that, of just wasting, obviously, a whole bunch of time on just dumb things. But now just, all right, you know, there's like all this stuff that you have to do and you're trying to keep it simple, but there's a number of things. And now just getting out of that mindset of, do I, do I, oh, you know, well, is this enough time for this or is this enough time for that? And just getting out of that complaining about that. Well, you know, it's only a few hours. So what does it matter if I, I would need more, like, no, no, it's just with the time that you do have in the day, have you spent it doing the things that you need to so that you're at least that incrementally little bit towards something else? Um, and and that feeling, like just having to constantly push yourself and switch modes so that you kind of get everything done in the day or you've spent, an, you've spent time working towards it. Um, and, and grasping with that 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 thing where there, there truly is no it feels like there's really never a good time and no perfect moment and you're always having to kind of force yourself and hopefully enough time before it becomes a habit and there's no more forcing anything where what's shaping up to be I mean you know a kind of a day-to-day -day and week by week is get up in the morning, go drive my mom to work, come home, like go for a walk and or also like if it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, make sure I do my exercises. Go to work, do your best job, come home, um, eat, clean up real quick and then just use, use the time you got until around midnight to just sit down and uh, work on the coding stuff. And it's not, oh, it, it's just, I don't, I'm not even concerned anymore about, am I too old? Am I this? Am I that? The way I'm really trying to view it now is just increasing my skills and knowledge and just focus on that. Um, I am trying um, a different route this time. I'm, I'm not using any other stuff I've used before. I'm trying the Odin project now. A lot of it's a lot of, you know, like they go out and they, they create a collection of like, here's all like this really good free stuff online and turn it into like a learning plan with also giving you projects too, which I think will be very nice. It's a lot of introductory stuff, setting up this and that and GitHub and all of this stuff. I'm finally passed a lot of that onto the actual, like getting to the actual learning to just learn to code bro so i'm you know still i'm i'm not trying to bypass anything of like oh i already know basic html like all right even if i know it i'll go through these lessons plans as written it'll just be a good refresher and reminder that kind of stuff um and just not oh well there's so much to do blah blah and what only like a few hours like no don't don't think about that at all you know just worry more about you know this few hours that i do have before going to bed and sleeping and starting the, and then a new day tomorrow like am i you know like oh it's so tempting right it's so tempting to just lay down there you know i worked today i did that i deserve to do just veg out and watch netflix or something and just like no like why what's the point like no this few hours whatever i've got that's all it is. I can sit down and just a little bit, you know, spend that time just incrementally, little by little, learning. <laughs> or put it off, right? Maybe I'll feel, maybe I'll feel it tomorrow. Like, no, like, man, just, that really never comes, does it? I'm like kind of shocked how I used to have that mindset of, you know what, I'll just wait. I'll just wait until things are perfect. I mean, I know they never will be, but I don't truly know. I truly don't grasp how you will never want to. You truly never, never will want to. You never will want to. You'll always be like, oh, oh I should just, I should just know. There's never just, right? There's no, 
you'll never want to you'll never feel like it you'll you'll always want to like oh you know maybe i should just kind of take it easy and then there you go right there you go more time gone that could have been used a little bit just that incremental little bit like a big old knob that just a little bit that could have been used that there you go truly gone forever um but yeah do the coating and then um obviously then on the weekends being off just going for a longer walk spending more time um on the computer to do that but also not ignoring you know the social aspect and going to church and talking to people and like or going to some event that maybe you're invited to so not ignoring that part too um you know having to kind of keep up everything at the same time because i i just i don't i don't think it would be very wise to do i truly don't not anymore um and really 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 i mean it's i know like everything else out there if you do it long enough and you're consistent enough the habit will be there um it will and you won't have to you know force force you'll enjoy right you'll enjoy waging <laughs> no it's uh yeah it's um it's just the the whole the switching modes the switching modes and just really managing that time and view it as not like just just really okay i've got this morning let's get a workout in. let's go for a walk all right let's go to work do a good job there all that let's eat all right let's switch to now sit yeah i'm tired i'm exhausted i just want to lay in bed and watch just random old videos about whatever but no no gotta got can't don't don't do that as tempting as it is let's just sit on the let's sit down let's open up the got a old old macbook pro from 2012 that i have no idea where i even got from um definitely did not buy it but i just found bought a like a mini display port to display port cable to actually view it on the large monitor i have um and it works just fine hey still for this just open it up and let's let's make let's use this th few hours whatever it is and make just a little bit further progress on this lesson plan because if not tomorrow tomorrow whenever i feel like it for the day that truly never comes right just having <laughs> drag your carcass to the computer and like all right i'm tired i'm this just just, just do it man just do it you got to earn got to earn that laziness and i think what i'm really liking with this odin project is that it's a lot of text based and reading and then, you know, periodically I'll throw out videos for you to like, go watch this video on YouTube or that. And I think what's been nice is that I'm, I'm learning to th learn that way. You know, you're not just, oh, I need like a fancy edited YouTube video to teach me something. Like, no, you take this subject, like a complex subject, whatever. You actually sit there and you read it and you think about it and then try to do it. And I think that's going to be a good skill in and of itself to have to train your brain to start learning that way again. Not just, well, I'm so used to, oh, you know, people make simple edited YouTube videos for me to consume. And that is how I will gather knowledge of subject. Um, so, yeah, that's um, that's where I'm at right now. Um, this Sunday gonna go for a walk with the with the lady i met at the park my little park buddy so that should be fun and uh, next week we are going up to the mountains you know keeping up the tradition now what has it been a few years now of going up to the mountains during the summer for a few days and in a van down by the river <laughs> um i have my own cabin this time so don't have to 
try to s attempt to sleep while my parents are snoring really badly. Uh, yeah, I would stream from, from the cabin, but I don't believe there is any cell phone reception up there. So, um, so yeah, I mean, maybe on Monday we'll do, I don't know. Because we got to drive out on Monday. And uh, got to drive out Monday, later in the day. I'll see. I'll, I'll figure out either a stream of the workout in the morning or maybe something else. Um, and then I'll come back, I believe, Thursday and maybe post some videos about from the, fr from nature, from the cabin. So, and the net, on that note, folks, I will see you later. Bye-bye.